Now we're going to enter Hello World into our system so that we can then have a compiler operate on it, both in Windows and in Linux. So let's follow along here and get this program entered. Let's go down and take a look at the program first. There it is. We have pound, include, a space, a less than, stdio.h, a greater than. Uh, on the next line, you just press carriage return at the end there. On the next line, we have the word main, open close parentheses, and then we have a brace. That's a left brace that you see there between main and printf. And then printf itself, P-R-I-N-T-F, which means print formatted. An open paren, double quotes. Uh, that's the one just next, next to your enter key there, double quotes. Hello space world, a backslash. Notice that's a backslash. That's the one that's above your enter key on the keyboard. Uh, not the one that's below the enter key. That's a forward slash. So we have a backslash, a little n, lowercase n. That means new line. Double, uh, another double quotes. And then a close paren and a semicolon. Semicolon is very important. You'll drive yourself crazy by losing semicolons, I guarantee it. And then we have a close brace there at the bottom, and then another carriage return after that. The white space that you see around uh, those braces and in front of printf are not all that important. The compiler ignores them. The only white space it cares about is in between hello and world, and since that's inside double quotes, it will leave it alone. Uh, it won't care about that. The space after the word include is important because that would run all together. So we need to pound include the standard I.O. there in the first line. So let's uh, let's drop out of here to the system. And remember, in Windows, to start our uh, environment, we need all programs. And then uh, if your system's not set to scroll, we go down to Visual C++ 2005 Express Edition that we installed. We go over to Visual Studio Tools, and then the Visual Studio 2005 command prompt. Click on that, and that is going to drop us into our Visual Studio 8 VC directory. Now let's, uh, for convenience, let's make ourselves a new uh, directory. I usually put it in the in the root just to uh, have it someplace convenient. So I go to the root, and we'll make a uh, programming directory. And then we'll go to that directory. So now we're in our programming directory, and that's where we're going to put our files. We're not going to make a whole lot of files out here, uh, some different programs as we go along, but uh, it'll be okay to have them in the in the programming directory like this. We want to use a simple editor, and in this case we're going to use Notepad. It's real easy to work with. Everybody knows Notepad. It was put out there long, long time ago in the Windows system so that we would have something to type with. More importantly, Notepad will create files without putting extra characters in them. You can't use Word, you can't use uh, Microsoft Write or any of those other kinds of programs because they put a lot of extra junk in there for formatting and things like that. You could use Word if you were careful and you always saved your program as a text file and never saved it as a document. Uh, first time you save it as a document and overwrite your, your files, uh, you have to go back and reload it and change it and fix it, and it's just not worth it. So for what we're going to do, we're going to use Notepad, and we're going to call this hello.c. Very simple. Notepad, hello.c, enter. That brings up Notepad, and it says it can't find the hello.c. Do we want to create it? Well, that's good. Yes, we do want to create it. 